In order for the industry to engage with the next generation of investors, um, I think technology is going to be a big part in that. Uh, the next generation are much more competent with their mobile devices than people like me, unfortunately. Um, so I think that's a big part of it, but actually it's the belief in what we do will help them. I think that's a big part of it as well. So I think we've got to do a lot more education uh, to, the, to the next generation to help them with their savings plans. In order for us as, as private banks and wealth managers to diversify in, in an increasingly competitive market, um, we have to have uh, excellent products and services. But probably more importantly in the new world, most of the world is moving to a digital world. And so we've got to be able to stand out from the crowd digitally. So we're going to have to come up with some clever designs and, in order to engage with people and still to be recognised in that mass digital sea. In order for us to be able to uh, adopt the technology in what, what today for us is a human-based industry, we've got to have some very uh, sophisticated technology that is easy to use. Um, I don't think we're ever going to get away from uh, people needing to speak to someone when they're dealing with serious matters of finance. So, but we can use technology to help that as well. Um, Skype or other type of video uh, calls, I think, will become important to save our customers from coming to see us or us having to go and see them. So I think we can use that technology to help us with the face-to-face -face aspects of the business. Uh, I think the greatest challenge that faces the industry in the next five years is the adoption of the right um, technologies. I think also combined with there'll be a natural pressure on pricing, which we're already seeing, and we must make sure that we use those technologies in order that we can uh, improve our pricing uh, for the investor.